Notanban is a hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of ammonia. Molecular nitrogen is present in the highest levels of the atmosphere, giving the planet its odd violent violet tint. The upper, uh, upper levels of Notan Bond's atmosphere are inhabited by shoals of tinia, tinia, tiny ammonia-based life forms, no larger or more complex than the plankton of Earth's oceans. Held aloft by air pressure and wind, these bioluminescent creatures constantly flee from the approach of the Terminator. Should they be exposed to the light and heat of Grissom, they die. Sad existence for those little things. Can't imagine that, that um, too much more complex life would develop in such a hostile environment. Sulcrum. Warning, level 1 heat hazard. Sulcrum is the largest moon of the gas giant Notanban. It has a trace atmosphere of krypton and xenon. The crust is composed of various metals with deposits of sodium. Ah! Again. Eh. Same sentence. As with every body in the solar system, the surface is scorching hot and thoroughly irradiated by the blue giant Grissom. Surface excursions without proper protective gear are certain to prove fatal. On approach to Notanban, Normandy's passive sensor array intercepted a fragmentary coded transmission from the surface of Solcrum. Attempts to decrypt the message were fruitless. It does not appear to be in any software coding language used by the Citadel races. It must be Gath. Let's go! And again, taking the Geth crew. Look at that star field. Holy cow. Whoa, look at that planet. Look at that sky. Wow. Anomaly. Debris. Something that I can't get a description of. Well, you know what? I bet that's the place we need to go. So let's check out the other ones first. Save the best for last. And hope we don't meet any Thresher Maws. Bastards. Surprise me every time. I would think this is too hot for Thresher Maws, but then again, I thought the last planet was too cold for Thresher Maws. And uh, they were there, so... Is this? Is this Thresher Maw Field? No, I don't think so. So I have to go up this thing? Is that what I have to do? Sorry, capsule. There were several artis artifacts stored here, all worthless except for one of Matriarch Dilanaga's writings. Whether it was uncovered at this dig site or elsewhere is unclear. This is a dig site? How could you tell? Right. Debris. Whoa! Shit. Holy crap. What is this? What can I... How can I... Here we go. Crash probe. Ooh, that was easy. Uh, okay. Fine. And last but not least, whatever the hell this thing is.
Boy, I sure hope <laughs> Saren isn't too close to the uh, Mew Relay Ilos because we're definitely falling behind if he's on his way there right now. But this is important. Getting rid of this giant Geth buildup of forces here. But this is pretty much the only side mission that I can justify doing before we go to Ilos, so I won't be pursuing the other one, the one with the biotics, which I, I can't remember where that came onto our radar, but apparently it did. We just can't do it. We won't have the time. Roleplay-wise, I can't justify it. Oh, shit. I didn't want to come completely over the top of the thing there. Enemy contact. I can't see where the hell I'm going. Ow. Ow. Oops. Nope, it's not working. Come on, die, you bastard. What the hell? <laughs> it's so hard to tell what's going on here when you're... What am I aiming over? I'm aiming, I'm aiming over the Mako, okay. There, that's one. seem to be in a place where they can't hit me. Yay, we did it. Clear. Thanks. Now let's see what we got here. What the fuck was that sound? Okay. Don't go over there. <laughs> That's a bad idea. Uh oh. I can't target that thing yet. Ah, you. Um, sabotage and throw. Hmm. Sabotage and lift. Uh oh. Whew. Just dodge that. Okay. Uh can't target you either. Okay. Sabotage again. 
Uh, overload. Did I kill it? It didn't kill it. Fuck you! God damn it, I hate those things. I'm so glad they don't appear anywhere else in the game. Holy crap! Ooh, he just overheated my weapons. Uh, hmm. I can't shoot because I'm overheated. Okay, overload. Lift. All oh, right, I was gonna switch out of the stupid cryo blind, snow blind rounds. I haven't done that yet. And actually, that's a geth over there, right? I can shoot that? That's a destroyer. Hmm. Yeah, that's a destroyer. Um. <gasps> Hacking? That would help out immensely if you hacked it. Oh, look! It, we, it worked! It worked! Oh, they're fighting each other! Look at that, that's cute! Oh, that's so cute! Look! Oh, they're angry. Fuck me! Fuck you! Okay, it didn't work. It stopped. <laughs> stopped working. Can I target that thing? I can't. Ah, there we go. Now I can. Uh, uh, hacking's almost back. Let's try. Let's try doing that. Wait for it. Wait for it to come back. A few more seconds. few more seconds. Okay, it's back. What? No. <sighs> I could target it before. There we go. Hack it. Did it work? It's hacked. Why isn't it? Yeah, shoot at the enemies. Shoot at the bad guys. Yay! Whew. As the last geth falls, you hear music from across the room. On the monitor, a quarian stands before a hushed crowd, warbling a mournful a cappella of words and innocence lost. The recorded song is dispatched to the geth worlds behind the Perseus Vale. The transmitter shuts down. Hmm. Uh oh. Ow. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck you, game. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Gave me this poignant little moment, like, oh, maybe the Geth have learned something here, and then. <laughs> fuck you, Shepard. Man, okay. All right, fine. That's the way this game is. Fine. You discover, uh, discover a number of encrypted Geth data files. In the proper hands, they could reveal much about the evolution of the Geth since the banishment of the Quarians. Hmm. I wonder what that's going to prompt me to do. Another level up. Let's do that now. Um, hmm. No, I don't care about store discount at this point. Let's get the lift specialization. That's what I focused on last time, right? Tally. Just 
just keep working on damping, I guess. Talion the Geth. Speak to Talion once you're back on the Normandy. Ah, oh, crap. Hope this isn't a whole other mission now, because this it won't work. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <gasps> we got 10 of 10 Asari writings! Yay! We did actually finish one of the quest fetches. Fest quetches. Fetch quests. <laughs> oh god. I think I'm tired, you guys. Uh, okay, where am I going? <laughs> Man, okay. All right, so we got to talk to Tally back on the Normandy, uh, which we'll do. We'll do that. If there's a quest for Tally, uh, hard to justify. Do it. Okay, there's nothing up here. Hard to justify going on it, but we'll see what it is. We'll see. Yeah, that AI hacking worked out really well. I like that. I should have used that more often in the past, in this LP. <laughs> so that's it, right? Yep, yeah, Normandy. So, let's then go talk to Tally and see if we actually have to maybe do something before we go to Ilos. I'm thinking this is just a, hey, we have this data on the Geth, what do you want to do with it? And she tells us what to do with it, and then that's done. I don't think we have to actually go anywhere for it. But we'll see. Hey, Tally, big news. Uh, which you were actually there to witness, so I don't know why I'm having to come down here and talk to you about it, when we could have talked about it there on the mission, but anyway. We're fugitives on the run. Very exciting, Shepard. Oh. I wonder what the Council would do to us if we got caught. Huh? Why is she a danger junkie now? What the hell's going on here? Uh, it's not a problem. Wait. Oh, 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 yeah, we, I guess we are on the run. We are on the run because of, uh... Leaving the Citadel without permission. Uh, wouldn't your dad help us? Yeah, I guess I could ask that, but that doesn't seem like an appropriate question right now. I don't know why I'd be thinking about her dad. Um, let's not worry about that. We've got bigger problems in the Council, like Saren and the Reapers. Good point. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? What? What's the... What's the... Th what? I should go. Where's the thing? There's a thing. It says talk to Tally. Speak to Tally once you're back on the Normandy. Shepard, I need to talk to you. <sighs> okay. It's important. Apparently there was a conversation I was supposed to have with her previously that I didn't have, so I had to get that out of the way first. Is something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. Um... Obviously, there's a there's a choice here, but in in Malcolm's mind, there's it, it doesn't need, he doesn't even need to ponder this. Tally's been fantastic for him from day one. She's kicked ass. Engineer Adams loves her. She's been one of the most valuable members of the team. Totally, whatever you want, you get it. You want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our homeworld. Uh, it's encrypted? Who gives a shit? I'm sure they can figure it out. Uh, I guess I could say, yeah, that, that would probably be the end of our association, huh? If I give you this data, your pilgrimage is over. You'll go back to your own people. Not right away. I'll stay with you as long as it takes to stop Seren. But my people need this. I don't like these options. I obviously wouldn't tell her no. 
I wouldn't tell her it's encrypted because she's quarry and she's a genius. She could figure it out. And I don't... Am I bothered that she would use it to kill the Geth? Okay, fine, whatever. To kill the Geth. You think you can use this information to destroy your enemy? Yeah, I guess. Not right. right away. We will need to study it. It could take years. But it will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Yep, it's yours. Go ahead. Make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt. One I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saren and his Geth armies are defeated. I never wanted anything more. Thank you, Shepard. Woo! Okay, good. We don't have another mission to do then. Fantastic. I wonder if I should try talking to everyone else then, because Tally had some things to say. Alright, let's let's run through this really quick. Garrus, you're probably gonna say, I wanna thank you, Commander. I can't believe we stole the Norman. Oh! Oh, okay. I mean, I'm not surprised after everything you've told me. But still. I guess so people do want to talk about something that's happened, that is stealing the Normandy. I didn't even think that there would be conversations after leaving the Citadel. Okay. He's not scared. But then again, I don't want to say so long yet. Okay. You sound worried, Garrus. No, not really. <laughs> if you're wrong, we'll pay for it. But if you're right and we did nothing, I think we'd regret it a whole lot more. I just hope we can catch Saren before they realize we're missing. We'll catch him. Just be ready when we do. Yes, Commander. Okay, cool. So there are a couple things we can say to people then. Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? We've got a hard fight ahead. Fleets of AI dreadnoughts who've exterminated all life dozens of times over? I think the odds are against us. Screw the odds. When it comes to the survival of humanity, who gives a rat's ass about odds? We're gonna fight them. Damn straight we will, Skipper. But I'm infantry. Against Reapers, my rifle may as well fire spitballs. I won't have a place in this war. That's what pisses me off, not being able to shoot back. You'll have a place, Ash. You're on my side. Dismissed, Chief. Sir. Stealing an Alliance ship? Risky stuff. But I'm right behind you, Shepard. It's the least I can do. Yeah, I was gonna say, I figured stealing an Alliance ship would be right up your alley, man. It sounds like something you'd totally do. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy. Sometimes crazy is the best way to go. I just hope they don't catch us before we get our hands on Saren. They won't. With you, anything's possible. So long, Rex. Shepard. Okay, well I guess we gotta go try talking to Liara then, huh? It sure would feel good to talk to Caden one more time. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Uh... I just wanted to talk. Yeah. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? Oh, okay. Nothing, I guess. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. So what the hell? I have something to say to everybody. I guess maybe since we talked to Liara, since she gave us like the pep talk when we were like leaning up against the locker and we were all down and out, maybe that was the conversation that we would have had there. We already had it, I guess. She's like behind us 100%, that kind of thing. Okay, fine. That's fine. All right, gang. And this is it. No more messing around. We're going to Ilos. We're not doing this. And we're not going to worry about these anymore. Medical station and drugged innocent researchers. I don't remember where that would have come in. But anyway. 
Race Against Time, Sovereign. We've discovered that the real enemy is not Saren, but a reaper called Sovereign, a sapient warship of tremendous power. Sovereign is using Saren as a tool to find the conduit, the key to unleashing a new reaper invasion on the galaxy. Use the Mew Relay to go to Ilos and stop Saren before he uses the conduit to unleash a reaper invasion on the galaxy. Let's do it now. Message from Admiral Hackett, Commander. Patching it through. Oh, come on. We just received your report. Looks like this Geth incursion was bigger than we thought. They were probably preparing for a major offensive in the system. We're increasing patrols in the Armstrong cluster to make sure they can't establish another foothold in the region. Nice job, Shepard. You saved a lot of human lives on this mission. Hack it out. Oh, good. Well, that makes me feel like we didn't waste our time doing that. All right. To the Pangea Expanse. The refuge system. Refuge. We have Agatoton. Agatoton has a pressure cooker atmosphere composed of carbon dioxide and ethane. Its scorching hot surface is mainly composed of sulfur with deposits of gold. There it is, there's that sentence again. Sur surface gravity is comfortable at 1.0 standard G's. There are several areas of debris that may be the wreckage of downed Prothean aerostat colonies. Based on the size of the debris fields, a population of over 100,000 was likely. Ooh, they were able to evacuate. I guess it doesn't matter, they all ended up dead anyway. Uh, Zafe, or Zafe, whatever. Zafe is a relatively small hydrogen and helium gas giant. There are several tenuous belts of debris in equatorial or orbit. Spectral analysis of the material suggests artificial origin, uh, origin, perhaps the remains of stations that once mined Zafe for helium-3. And last but not least, Ilos. In the golden age of the Protheans, Ilos was a verdant world dotted with the spires and arches of magnificent cities. Even casual ob observation shows this is no longer the case. Ilos has been devastated by means unknown. Its entire surface changed to the color of rust. The atmosphere shows heightened levels of oxygen. Wildfires, presumably ignited by lightning strikes, can be seen burning on the dark side. This indicates that most, if not all, respirating animal life forms have died off. Surface gravity is a comfortable 1.17 standard G's. Shepard, may I speak with you? I always have time for you, Liara. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. We're not going to fail. I promise. Please, I am not looking for comfort. Saren might already have the conduit. It is time to be completely honest with each other. These could be our last moments together. Our last chance to show each other how we feel. I want this to be special. We don't have to do this. Not unless you're sure. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. <laughs> Sorry, just that it's yes <laughs> with an exclamation point. Uh, that's totally what. I'm, yeah, totally. Are you kidding me? Jesus. Malcolm's wanted to jump her bones since like episode fifty. So yes. I thought you'd never ask.
Tet. <laughs> Fully clothed, really? The goddess. That was incredible, Shepard. Uh, as far as awkward computer animated video game characters having sex goes, that was decently shot. Uh, I think they realized their limitations and they kind of kept things quick and kind of blurry and kind of in, you know, close, close shots, uh, narrow shots, and, uh, it didn't end up looking too weird, um. But anyway, uh, the ending though, just like what? Suddenly he's just fully clothed on a on a desk. It's like, dude, you could have maybe he had like boxers on. Like, why couldn't he just be laying in the bed next to her? Why does he have to suddenly be all business again? I don't know. They were going for a really tender moment, and they almost achieved it. And then that last thing is just like, what? Really? Whoa! Wait a minute. Okay. Uh, that was incredible. Uh, could go again, but I think we we really, really, really care for Liara, I think. It's not a purely lustful thing. Like, we actually really care for her, so let's pay her a compliment. You were incredible. Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. Shepard, whatever happens on Ilos, I just wanted to say thank you for everything. Damn, dude. Cutting it kind of close. Five minutes to go. Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker! Drop us right on top of that bastard. Yeah! Uh, oh, right, okay. Um, I think I gotta take Ash. She's an ass kicker. Uh, and we're gonna be dealing with Geth. Uh, I really, really want to take Ash, but... So, it was so nice fighting the Geth with these two together. Take Tally. She's got AI hacking. That's better. Okay. Here we go. Holy crap, that was one hell of a drop, we Joker. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found a way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. We'll do it. Girls, let's go.